If you're wanting to just look after yourself, it's really easy. Pretty much, I'd love to show you basics of putting seed in a tray mm -hmm. and growing it to a certain stage and then you can be planted in your garden. Or if you're wanting it to be a business, it's just a matter of getting a few systems sorted. And I'll show you what I had to do to get set up for um, actually making it into a business that I could... Well, yeah. And Laura, my wife's working here now, so now it's a business that can support both of us. Well, this time of the year it's right, really good because it's winter time and everyone's buying the trees and finally we're getting some money. But um, during the downtime it is a bit scarce. So a lot of material stuff needs to be close as or you're actually being able to get material that people are chucking out or yeah. get... Um, Try and, I mean, from start up, you really need to keep those um, costs down so then at the other end, um, you're getting a wee bit more money. Because here, basically, uh, what I do here, right? Okay, we've got apples here. These yep. are the apples with the pegs on. Yep. They are all being grafted. So what happens is I um, have a rootstock bed, which you can see through here. And what they get, what what happens originally is a cutting gets put in the ground, and it roots. Yep. And, so then it's, and by cutting, you've just gone up to a tree and you've cut. Yep. Over. So certain roots. There's only a certain amount of rootstocks. Say, yep. let's say, let's talk about apples. Rootstocks are the roots that go into the ground, mm -hmm. and they are dependent on um, soil, and they're also dependent on size. The reason, see, way back before even grafting came about, back in the days when orchards were produced for food, mm. they just produced orchards of, as seedlings. Yeah. And they'd pop all these seedlings in the ground. But the problem with seedlings and seed is that you, they, they can never be reliably true. A lot of seeds, they haven't got the male and the female, so they don't actually end up being true. And so these orchards would be, they'd plant all these seedlings, and up would come these, some ultimate trees, mm and then a whole lot of just crabby trees that were spit out, or crab apples, or not even fruit not at all. Right. But out of these ultimate trees, as centuries went on, they learnt how to actually mimic, or, or take a piece of that ultimate variety that yep. they've found, yep. and put it onto a rootstock, and actually grow it true to that. And that's how grafting came about. And that's pretty much what we do now, mm -hmm. to get these true varieties so coming back to the rootstocks yeah. you've got three for apples you've, but they've scaled them down seedling trees are massive they want to grow massive so what they've done is they've produced when i say they i mean all these scientists really mate um clever guys and they've made them dwarfing so these northern spy this is the one that we use here for apples really good for clay soils there's dwarfing rootstocks making a smaller tree so you can train it easier and then there's a, like a 793 and then that's a massive that's a bigger tree than a northern spy and better for um, free draining soils yeah so you've got these rootstocks you grow them from cutting you put them in the bed they root they grow up stool bed means they will grow up and then you cut them back and stool it up stool means when you are putting sawdust all over it so when it shoots away from where you've cut it you, you put sawdust all over it and then underneath the sawdust roots will start to appear mm -hmm. and then come winter time you take all the sawdust away yep. where it's rooted you can cut below it and then you've got a tree as long as it's got roots bang there's a tree boom 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 all, yep. all the way down mm -hmm. Bang, you've got your rootstock, you can be putting your rootstock in pots, yep. or better still, if you've got some land, put it in the ground, yeah? So boom, you've got your rootstock, and then what you do is you come in, and you graft your varieties onto those rootstocks. So basically, let's put this to each and every person's local area. Yep. If someone, if they know, or if they like an apple, if they like a peach, or if they like a plum, in the area or their grandma's got a favourite this is how you can actually produce that and what the wonderful thing is in the winter time for apples come in and you get a piece of cyan wood and I can show you yep, pretty much that. what a piece of cyan wood would look like Yes, it is.
Don't want to lose your geese. Okay, so in the winter time, you'll notice that all those leaves will be off. Yeah. And you'll take a piece of sinewood. When you've got a lot of, lot of um, branches, you're thinking of pruning as well. So I took that one from going back. That's not going to be a, a piece of wood that, that, yeah. we, that, yeah. that we're going to need. And a piece of sinewood is, um, you grab a piece like this and so one... Th and this is off the tree that you want? This, this is, is off the, the tree. The one, so, so you love that tree? I love this tree. This is a yeah. northern spy. Right. Great apple. We yeah. want more of that. Yeah. Out of a piece of wood like this, yeah. each bud can produce a new tree. So we cut here. Mm -hmm. And generally, I haven't, I, I should grab my cra um, grafting knife, but I can use a pocket knife maybe. Mm -hmm. And you've got two buds and pretty much you just Making a bit of a V, oh, no, like that, very that. dodgy, very dodgy yep, with my yep. pocket knife. And then you've got your rootstock in the ground, and then you're just cutting a little... V like that in it, mm. and you are putting it in there like that. And all you need is... Just one. Is just two buds there two because but and yep. then you, you're putting it in there and this cambium mm. very important the important thing is and just try you just have to there's plenty of books on it but you just have to keep trying this and this is dodgy because I've done it with my craft knife mm. best thing is to get a graft uh, grafting knife or a budding knife yep. and the cambium layers are all around the outside here all around the outside yep. and they need to line up with Oh, the all around the yeah. outside in here. Yeah. So somewhere I've dropped that. But anyway, it goes in and you wrap it up. Mm -hmm. And that stays there wrapped up. And what you'll notice is the actual um, bud will... Um, you know, I can make another one. The bud will um, start shooting away. And... So, that, so they, they join? Yep. What the, they totally... Uh, join in, fuse together, mm -hmm. and um, oh, there's a classic word for it, but it's pretty much yeah, inter, yeah, inter, intimate contact or something they say, you know. To, yeah. But it's, it is, it's, it's an absolute beautiful thing. Heels all up here, and then it'll pop away out of there. And then you take the tape off because what happens is it starts to strangle. Yep. Literally, it, it can be like a month afterwards you can take the tape off and then so the sap carries on flowing up through here pops out a bud and then voila you've got your new tree sometimes you're having to below the rootstock take off some shoots that might be shooting out of it because you don't want that rootstock to take off and yeah. so and you're you wanting this tree yeah. boom you've got that you've got you've got that variety now as a tree amazing that's grafting and that's can be done with apples that can be done with all sorts of things. So that, and that's what you've got over there then? That's what we've got over here. So all those were done, were grafted last year mm. in the winter time. Yeah. 